try <clears throat> uh, BR189. Let's see what happens here. And if this doesn't work any better, I'm going to abandon Train Simulator 2015. I do enjoy just once in a while <clears throat> just starting it up and running it while I'm doing something else and looking out the window, trying to maintain my speed. Um, I don't do very well at it, but. I did get a couple of uh, parts of track that I wanted, um, Sherman Hill and uh, Stevens Pass. <coughs> oh, this is an electric engine. Cool. Welcome to the cab of this BR, BR-189 electric motor, locomotive. You will now learn how to start and stop this locomotive. The camera will change view when each control is set correctly. Okay, the pantograph collects power from the overhead lines. To raise the pantograph, pull the lever towards you. But for now, it is already raised. Okay, that's the pantograph. That's a weird symbol for the pantograph. Okay. Let's get this train moving. You'll need direction and power. Direction is controlled by the reverser. Set this to forward. Da, 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 da. There are three aspects to applying power. Pantograph, brakes, and throttle. Oh. Okay. The brakes stop the train. Push the lever fully away from you to release the brakes. That's this one. Okay fully away from you. The throttle applies power. Push the throttle lever slightly forward to accelerate. Whoa. Mm, slightly is... Wow. <clears throat> Congratulations! You're on the move! So, give me a view that I can actually see, for God's sake. Okay, now what? See, you're supposed to be able to... And I forget how to do that. To change your view in the cab. <clears throat> Set the throttle back to minimum to maintain speed. We don't need any power and can coast over weight and gradients when hauling trains may have an effect on your speed. So a low throttle setting may be required. Uh, to minimum. What's minimum? Whoa, God. Okay. Oh, that's a zoom. Oh, I see. All right. I'm supposed to be able to look up or down too, but oh well. <clears throat> this is the part that's scary is that you don't know if you're supposed to go somewhere or not maybe in the locomotive scenario um, you're supposed to just keep going until you get to a certain spot and then it'll go on to the next thing I don't know I will try that off camera <clears throat> and report back to you if we ever do this again <clears throat> and here again, I don't know what's going on either. I mean, I waited the first time I did the locomotive scenario. I was backing up, which I know I wasn't supposed to do. And I waited for it to say something, and it didn't. It just crashed me. So we may get the next thing here, or we may crash. Who knows? Now we need to stop. For this, you will need to use the train brake. Pull this lever slightly towards you to apply the brakes. Slightly towards you. Okay.
So I stopped before I hit the end of the... Congratulations, you have successfully started and stopped this locomotive. <gasps> achievement unlocked! Train Simulator Academy! Yay, I got an achievement! Yay! I think that's maybe all I had to do with the steam locomotive, just go a little farther for it to, to give me the next deal. Yay! Academy! Unlocked Train Simulator Academy. <gasps> I feel so accomplished. I feel so accomplished. I'm going to go on to the Class 170 DMU. Whatever that is. I have no idea what this locomotive is. Uh. Oh, wait. Ha, I'm dumb. I pushed main menu instead of starting menu. Why did it go back to the menu? Uh. <sighs> this game leaves me a little confuzzled, in case you haven't noticed. <clears throat> Maybe it's because I don't follow directions very well. It's also early in the morning, and my coffee maker didn't work right, and I only got a half a cup of coffee instead of a full cup. But it's kind of strong. <clears throat> Norfolk Southern Dash. The, the engines have cooler names than they are in engines. Test Train Academy Not in Service. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to get the train moving. Complete each action words after closing these messages. The camera will change view when each control is set correctly. Yeah, more or less. Let's get this train moving. Direction is controlled by the reverser. Set this to forward. Well, there's Oh, there's a setting above that, too. Okay, sun it to forward. Power is controlled by the throttle, which has seven notches. Set this to notch three. What? Well, what are those notches up there then? See, that's so confusing. Whoa, God! Don't do that! I hope I got it set to three, but I don't think so. I think it went past that, and I didn't get a chance to set it back again. Maybe it just stops at three, I don't know. It's not at three, so it's not going to, um... It's just going to crash me is what it's going to do, because... Congratulations, you're on the move. Now you can apply full power, move the throttle all the way down to full. Oh god. We are going to die. <clears throat> See, I had to cheat. cheat. I had to know about the HUD here to use the throttle to uh, uh, speed up a little bit because I don't think I got the right speed. camera. Oh, set the throttle to off. 
to maintain speed. We don't need any power and can coast. However, air resistance and gradients may have an effect on your speed, so a low throttle setting may be required. So set it to off. Okay. That is cool. So am I supposed to know that I need to set it up a little higher than that? Maybe I went beyond off, do you suppose? Okay, now we need to stop. For this, you need the brake. The train combines power and braking in the same controller. Push the throttle lever forward beyond off and into braking notch 2. See, I, can't, I couldn't see that. I assume that's braking notch 2. Okay, I'm in breaking notch too. Well done, you have completed it. Wow, I don't like that they take you off of the control before you have it set where you want it to be. Huh. Okay, well, I got two of them. Um, I already had that unlocked. I think. Yeah. Okay, well, let's try one more. I may go back to that. One more primary controls. I may go back to that uh, steam engine later on and see if I can figure out what I did wrong. Because the steam engines are kind of primitive, <laughs> if you will. And what I really want to do is go and make myself some more coffee since I got gypped at the coffee machine. And no, it's not a Keurig. It's one we got from a company that I buy coffee from. That's so loud. Oh yeah. Welcome to the cab of this SD70 Mac. You are about to learn how the primary controls for this locomotive work. First we will get moving and practice braking. Okay. Let's get this train moving. You'll need direction and power. And this is the reverser. Direction is controlled by the reverser. Set this to forward as shown in the picture. <laughs> yeah, your pictures kind of suck. All right. The brakes stop the train. That's a big brake handle. There are three types of brakes in this locomotive, but they are covered in a separate tutorial. For this exercise, we will use the auto brake. Move the lever all the way towards you to release the brakes, as shown in the picture. The throttle applies power. Move the throttle lever slightly towards you. <laughs> uh, this is touchy mouse time. Okay, here we go. There's a lot of sounds involved in this. There we go. 
Congratulations, you're driving this diesel locomotive. This is what I want to do. I want to be able to turn off this sissy HUD down here and just uh, run these trains manually. I think that'll be a lot more fun. It'll be challenging, but it'll be more fun. Set the throttle back to the middle, as shown in the picture. To maintain speed, we don't need any power and can coast. However, a resistance train weight and gradients may have an effect on your speed, so a low throttle setting may be required. Okay. Oh, whoa. Trains are very heavy and can need a lot of force to get moving. It's not a good idea to fly maximum power from standing as it may induce wheel slippage or damage the engine. Oh, good thought. I tend to be a little impatient sometimes. Do that. We need to stop. For this, you need the brake. As we are not hauling any cars, we can use the independent brake. Move the lever slightly away from you. Oh, okay. Um, I can't... I can't do it. not doing anything. There. Okay, apparently it was more than slightly. Got that just in time. Congratulations, you've successfully stopped and started and stopped this locomotive. All right, do you suppose it's time to go back to the stupid steam locomotive and see if we can pass this thing? That would be my goal for the day. Primary controls on all engines. This could get confusing because every time you go back to an engine, you're going to forget, okay, well, where's that thing on here and how do I do that on this one? The steam engines scare me the most because they're dumb. <clears throat> and I'm not terribly happy with the, uh, with the, tut with the Academy. Uh, never been real happy with the tutorials in this game because they, they don't tell you what's going on. They've they can tell you vaguely what to do, and you have to guess. Okay, this part we know. Let's get moving. Pull the reverser in full forward. No, that's not full. F oh, yes, it is. No, it's not. Well, sort of. Uh, let's release the brake. Right. Time to open the regulator. Slide the lever slightly clockwise. Oh, that's right, I gotta go that way. There we go. Stupid thing. And off we go. Nice work. You are driving the locomotive. Am I really? Oh, yes, I am. Okay. Engine runs more efficiently at reduced cutoff, lower reverser setting. It is necessary to reduce, to reach higher speeds, pull the reverser back anti-clockwise to about a quarter applied. There. That's about it, I think.
there. Once the reverser is reduced, it is safe to open the regulator fully. After that, you can adjust the reverser to obtain the power needed. Whenever you adjust the regulator, ensure the reverser is closed. Still don't know what that means. But what the heck. need to start applying the brakes. First, ensure that the regulator is completely closed. Okay. This is the brake pressure gauge. When the gauge is displaying the needle at 21, and that's both up here, or no, okay, yeah, up up here and down here in the HUD. I can't read it up here. The brakes are fully released when the gauge is displaying the needle at zero. The brakes are fully applied. Okay. Let's apply the brakes. Pull the lever halfway between on and off. Now, check the brake pressure gauge. Release the brakes until the brake pressure gauge is at 15, then apply the brakes to running. Okay. See, that's not a consistent That's not consistent. Congratulations, you have successfully started and stopped this locomotive. That's all I had to do, was just bring that down to running level. Okay, well that was dumb. <laughs> oh man. Okay, that was kind of excruciating. But we passed... Um, all of the primary controls, it doesn't say that here, but I did. And uh, next time we'll try the secondary controls, see if I can blow something up or run off the tracks or whatever. Okay. Alrighty then. Oops. So, um, yeah, thanks for joining me for uh, this maiden voyage of Train Simulator 2015 Academy. We learned the primary controls for, what, four or five different locomotives? Uh, that's not bad. Um, join me next time um, on the Train Simulator 2015 Academy.